The year 332 BC was a really strange year in the history of ancient Egypt. In this period Egypt was under the rule of the Persians, who were known for their cruelty in treating the Egyptians like any occupation coming from the east. When Alexander the Great pilgrimage in eliminating the Persians in Syria and Gaza, Egypt came and we pilgrimage to expel the Persians from it. The Egyptians in this period felt great gratitude for what Alexander did for them. As a result, the Egyptians granted Alexander the title of son of the god Amun. When Alexander was visiting the temple of Amun in the Siwa oasis, it is true that this matter made Alexander the Great feel that he is a god after that, and actually asked his commanders and soldiers after that to bow down to him, but they refused, but this does not prevent Alexander the Great's desire to leave his mark in Egypt by building a city named after him. On the way back of Alexander from the Siwa oasis passed over the village called Rakuda. This village was located on the northern coast of the Mediterranean. This village had in front of an island called Pharos with a small port serving the villages adjacent to the island. When Alexander saw this place he was very impressed by the wonderful view of it so he ordered to fill the strait between the island of Pharos and the village of Rakuda and ordered the construction of the city of Alexandria on this place. Many historians believed that Alexander when building the city of Alexandria, which bears his name, and many other cities that bear his name as well, was in that self-fulfillment that he was always looking for, and found in the invasion and conquest of new countries, this matter from my personal point of view is not true at all. When Alexander the Great was invading countries and conquering them, he treated their people well, and his dealings with the Egyptians are the best evidence of that, also the danger of the Persians at that time was great this empire enslaved and oppressed many peoples, which made Alexander see it as an evil that must be terminated from existence, but as for the fact that Alexander wants to achieve himself through these wars, this is true, but not to the degree that makes this desire the first incentive to wage all these wars. The city of Alexandria was planned so that the vertical streets intersect with the horizontal streets, and the village was connected to the island by a bridge known as the Heptastadian Bridge, this planning carried out by Dinocrates, showed the city as a military city and this is what actually happened in the era of the Ptolemies the city was the headquarters of soldiers and ruling authority, after the death of Alexander the Great did not have an heir, so his commanders shared his kingdom among themselves, so Egypt became the share of Ptolemy I, who found it difficult at first to control it, but he was able after three years have passed to rule Egypt alone and took Alexandria as his capital. Alexandria continued as the capital of Egypt for 200 or 300 years under the rule of the Ptolemies, but during the reign of Ptolemy XIII there was a conflict between him and Cleopatra, so Cleopatra went to Julius Caesar and asked him to help restore her king, so Julius Caesar launched wars on Ptolemy XIII Cleopatra was unique as a result of ruling Egypt, but after a short period Octavius was able to control Egypt, after he was able to defeat Antony and Cleopatra, thus turning Egypt into a Roman state. After Egypt fell under the hands of the Romans, Alexandria continued as the capital of Egypt and also its inhabitants were distinguished during the period of the rule of the Romans from the Egyptians, where the Romans and Greeks had a special place as the ruling class. Also when Christianity spread, Alexandria had a major role, as it included most of the Avengers on the religion that the emperor was seeking to impose on the people. So when Emperor Theodios acknowledged the prevention of paganism, the people of Alexandria received this news with great hospitality and destroyed the road to Alexandria, at that time all the pagan temples in the city and he built churches instead of these temples. This city was characterized by a special spirit, as it was the headquarters of the revolutionaries of this state, the inhabitants of Alexandria in the 2nd century AD, they organized a satire poem against the Roman emperor. So the emperor came to Alexandria and killed 20,000 Alexandrian citizens, also one of the reasons for the city's distinction is the occurrence of many important monuments in it, the most famous of which is the Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the world, as well as the pole of the masts and the tomb of Alexander the Great undiscovered so far, all this made this city really special. After the beginning of the spread of Islam in the Middle East, Egypt at that time was under the rule of the Romans, and the way the Romans treated the Egyptians was really harsh, so the people wanted to get rid of the Romans as soon as possible. When the leader Amr bin al as saw this, he told the Caliph Omar bin al khattab that he was heading to conquer Egypt, and the Caliph Omar agreed to that. Amr took the eastern road and went to Al-Farma. 
and he opened it, and then he waited for supplies from Caliph Omar and completed the conquests, and was able to defeat al mukukas in a fortress Napoleon then went to Alexandria. When Amr saw the location of the city of Alexandria on the sea, he sensed the danger surrounding it, especially since the Islamic Caliphate at that time, did not have its own naval fleet, so he changed the capital from Alexandria to Fustat, which he built, in order to become close to the Caliph Omar ibn al-Khattab, and in order to also move away from Alexandria, which is close to the Romans, and thus the capital was converted from Alexandria to Fustat after it lasted more than 1,000 years the capital of the Egyptian state.